Hello everyone, my name is Susanna Střížová and I work at the Department of Immunology, Second Faculty of Medicine, Charles University and University Hospital, Motol. Uh, at our institution, we uh, focus on all aspects of human immunopathologies and we have several research groups, some of which are focused on immunodeficiencies, some are focused on autoimmunities and some are focused on cancer immunotherapy. We also treat patients, uh, especially adult and pediatric patients with immunological disorders. Me and my PhD students, we have one major goal, and that's uh, to improve the immunotherapy with immune checkpoint inhibitors in solid tumors. We do that by analyzing the tumor microenvironment, and especially we focus on describing tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and their functional capacities. And how we do that, I will show you right now. To analyze the tumor microenvironment, we first need to obtain uh, the tumor samples from our fellow surgeons or pathologists. After obtaining uh, samples from the surgeon or pathologist, we further process our um, tissues and liquids to prepare our cells for flow cytometry, luminex, and other assays. We also use this Gentlemax dissociator, which allows us to mechanically dissociate the tissue and easily work with the cell suspensions that are obtained. So when we isolate the cells, then we stain them with these antibodies. So we are able to detect various uh, immune cell substances and immune checkpoint molecules. When we're done with our measuring through flow cytometry, we analyze the data in our special software. So these cells are alive. And these are our, our CD3 positive T cells. So now we can check the, the expression of immune checkpoint molecules. So for example, here is PD1. And so we can see that there is a quite high expression. Great. And PD1 is very important for the treatment. Hello, everybody. My name is Jerzyna Bartunkova and I'm head of Institute of Immunology, which belongs to the fac second faculty of medicine, Charles University and University Hospital Motol, which is one of the biggest hospitals in the Central Europe. I'm head of this department already since 1995. I built this department together with several colleagues and collaborators nearly from scratch. Uh, with the financial support of uh, modern institutions and m many scientific grants, uh, we were building the institute to become uh, a leader in the field of clinical immunology at national, but uh, I can say also in international level. Our institute is divided into several departments, routine diagnostic laboratory, outpatient department for both uh, adult and uh, children, uh, and we provide uh, care about patients suffering from uh, many immunopathologies, including <coughs> allergies, uh, immune deficiency, and autoimmunity. Uh, the research I supervised was focused mainly to tumor immunology, uh, especially cell-based immunotherapy, and our product, uh, dendritic cell-based vaccine, uh, went through all stages of preclinical and clinical development and was tested in several clinical trials in patients with various forms of solid uh, tumors. Around this product, we founded uh, a biotech company uh, and uh, my uh, PhD student uh, later be be became uh, the CEO of this company. Uh, which is one of the first biotech companies in the Central Europe and uh, continue to, to develop several promising immunotherapeutics products. 
so apart from the research, I teach students, I am co-author of a textbook of immunology. We are now preparing already uh, seventh revised uh, uh, edition and this uh, textbook serves to students for 25 years. Uh, so I can summarize that I like immunology. Uh, immunology is for me an uh, endless story and uh, I'm glad that I had chance uh, to contribute by, uh, by my work is a small piece uh, to the overall picture of the modern immunology. Thank you for watching and happy International Day of Immunology. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.